Hi everyone, I'm Laura Noel and today we are going to do a little craft project. We are going to make a minky and flannel blanket. Now I'm going to link a post, a Pinterest post below that was inspirational in how I'm making this blanket. Um, the reason I say it was, you know, this blanket is inspired by is because I'm not doing things exactly the way that she did them on her pin. Um, her pin, I believe, had the blanket 36 inches by 36. I'm doing mine 30 by 30. She also sewed the edges a little bit differently and I'm going to be tying um, throughout the blanket to finish it. So I'll show you how I'm going to make this blanket. This is for my daughter Madison. I'm going to be also embroidering her name on it to make it just a personalized little thing that she can enjoy. The first thing you're going to need is of course your fabric. Uh, so I went ahead and cut out my fabric. I picked gray minky with little dots. So I have that cut out. And I also picked my flannel. You can do flannel, you can also do woven cotton, uh, you know, something uh, substantial fabric. I picked this beautiful, cute, adorable pink Noah's Ark with animals. Noah's Ark is her, and animals, Noah's Ark and animals, are her um, nursery theme. So this just matches perfectly and I just absolutely adore it with the gray. So we're going to have, take our pieces, put them right sides together, and this is where I'm going to differ a little bit from the pin. I'm going to go ahead and pin around my edges and go ahead and just sew my seams together, right sides together, on uh, three sides and then on the fourth side about three-fourths of the way across, leaving a little bit of room to turn it inside out. I'm going to sew it about one-fourth inch um, and then I'm going to press open the seams. So that's what we're going to do for the first step in making our blanket. Something very important to keep in mind when you are sewing minky is that minky stretches, unlike the flannel, these pieces were the same size and see how much that minky came out? <laughs> yeah, it just stretches completely. So you really have to be very careful to make sure that your sides are both stretching the same way or else <laughs> you're gonna have a very uneven blanket. So when you're done sewing all of your sides together and you're going to just, like I said, leave a little opening. I left an opening just about as big as my hand here and you're going to turn it inside out or right side out, I guess. There we go. Right side out, right side out. Push all your corners out. Yes, corners. And voila. Now, like I said, minky stretches. So have fun with that. <laughs> um, I'm going to go and I'm going to press all of these edges. You do want to be careful when you press minky because um, it can flatten the dots, uh, but I'm just going to do it around the edges just to give it a nice extra flattening. Uh, and then you can go ahead and hand stitch up this with just, you know, you can use any kind of stitch you want. You can, if you're great at the invisible stitch, awesome. I just try to do little tiny stitches across. And then I'm going to go ahead and tie little knots all around this to try to keep it together somewhat. <laughs> now that I have my piece, my little edge there um, hand sewn up, it is time to think about tying it. So what I do is I pick out embroidery floss. I have a pink color here to match. And when you cut a strand of embroidery floss, it's normally six strings. So I just picked out three strings, three strings, hold them apart, 
this has three strings, this has three strings. Um, and I find that's easier to use with my needle. So you can, of course, make as many as you want. You can do, you know, um, three across, you can do four across, you can do every few inches. If you're using a square pattern, you can do it on the edges, all kinds of stuff. Um, I am probably going to do them about two, three, probably about four across, maybe five, then four, then five, then four. Um, but I'm going to try to do them pretty frequently just to kind of give it some, just to hold it together, basically. So to tie, if you've never tied before, you're going to take your thread and um, you don't even bother making a knot or anything. You're going to pick your place where you're going to tie it. I'm going to do it right over here in the corner. So I'm going to take my needle, my needle is over here, and just bring it, make it go all the way through, and bring it back pretty small. You don't want it too, too far. Pull it through. And then I'm going to cut a little piece there. I'm going to cut it so that it has two little tails. And then you are simply going to tie the tails in a double knot. <laughs> it's a little difficult to do. We'll hold it like this. Okay. There's my double knot. And then I'm going to trim it about you know, half an inch to an inch, like that. And, so you can see that, there is the completed tie, just a little knot. Um, you can choose to do it on either side, you could do it on this side, you could do it on the minky side. As you can see on the minky side, there's only just a tiny, I'm not sure if you can see, there you go, a little teeny tiny spot right there. Um, but I'm tying it on this side. And I'll just continue to do that all throughout the blanket. Once you get all your ties in there, um, you are essentially done. Now I decided to do five ties across and then one, two, three, four, five ties down. So I have 25 ties in here and I think that kind of helps to kind of hold it together. Um, so like I said, you're essentially done. I'm going to do one more. So instead of embroidering, I decided to just stitch an M in here for Madison. And it's not perfect. <laughs> Back stitching and forward stitching over here was not super easy. Um, but I did blue on the bottom and pink on the top. And, you know, yeah. <laughs> so that is the minky and flannel blanket that is tied and I stitched an M in for her name. They aren't necessarily easy blankets, but they don't take a whole lot of time if you're not too worried about perfectionism. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for the lovey blankets, which are a little bit easier. <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye. You promos.